funky as you can probably tell from my music choice you know what day it is technical tip tuesday we sure appreciate all our subscribers all the wonderful comments keep them coming we really enjoy it and appreciate looking around my computer came across this case we did a couple of years ago on a patient with a carotid body tumor let's talk about it hope you enjoy So a carotid body is actually a sensory organ located at the carotid bifurcation. A carotid body tumor is also known as a chemodectoma or a paraganglioma, and it's basically a tumor of this organ. Now, a carotid body tumor is rarely malignant. However, they can grow quickly. They're not really life-threatening. However, they can become symptomatic by applying pressure and ultimately possible damage to the surrounding nerves and blood vessels. They're fairly rare, incidence somewhere between one, two, and 100,000, approximately equal in males and females, most often in middle-aged or older people. There's a slightly higher incidence in people living at very high altitudes, possibly uh, from chronic hypoxia, and there's possibly a hereditary propensity as well. Carotid body tumors are usually asymptomatic unless they're particularly large, as in this patient, not the one I'm going to be presenting. But one this large would possibly present with hoarseness, difficulty swallowing, perhaps paralysis or numbness in the tongue or face, weakness or pain in the shoulders, potentially vision changes or drooping of the eyelids, possibly high blood pressure, and of course, maybe a carotid brewery. Our patient was a 72-year-old male. He was asymptomatic. He did have a history of controlled hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and a remote history of tobacco abuse, but had quit many years ago. He was referred to our lab for a left carotid brewery. Now, our patient did have one of those border lines, approximately 50% stenosis in the left internal carotid artery, and we felt that might potentially be the source of his brewery. However, incidentally, we noted this mass right in between the external and the internal carotid arteries. You can see in the one and a half to three centimeter range. So here's a little video clip. You can see the tumor in between the bifurcation vessels. That's the external to the left and the internal to the right. You can appreciate there's a little acoustic shadowing from the plaque kind of in the distal common and proximal internal carotid artery. One of the diagnostic criteria we use for carotid body tumor is kind of a splaying of the bifurcation vessels. So note how far apart these are. The other thing to note is the highly vascular nature of this mass. So here's another little video clip I'll let just play through for you as the sonographer pans around, who actually was our student at the time. This one would be pretty hard to miss, but again, we're looking for this well-defined mass right at the bifurcation, kind of in the crotch between the two vessels. It's kind of a very wide bifurcation or a splaying of those bifurcation vessels, as well as we're looking for a very hypervascular mass. All these are characteristics of a carotid body tumor. So you find one of these, what should be done about it? Well, sometimes if it's small and depending on the patient presentation, you may watch it. 
Really, surgical excision remains the only definitive treatment, and generally by an experienced vascular surgeon, this carries a pretty low mortality morbidity. Uh, they have been treated with radiation and possibly embolization of the feeding vessels. So I hope you enjoyed Tuesday's technical tip on carotid body tumors. You don't see these very often, but pretty exciting when you do find one. You know what to do? Like, subscribe, leave us your comments. We really appreciate it. If you have a great case, we'd love to put it up. Please contact us. If you need any Category 1 CME, please visit virtualveincenter.com. Now go out and do right by your patients.